Good day everyone, Garage King here, and if you've watched one of my former videos, you'll know the Vanagon idle was just not working. Everyone thought I was trying to race them at the light. The engine just kept revving up. I had to kick the idle down, and then it just went right back up. And we all know we don't race her Vanagon. We just don't do that. These are not the vehicles to do it. Great camper vans, but not good racer vans. So anyway, we diagnosed it to this idle control module, and then I was able to trace it down to a transistor. Now, I don't know if it's an NPN transistor or a PNP transistor, I don't know. So I did a ton of digging around on the internet, and I mean, I did a lot of research to save you all the headaches of doing this. I just did it myself, and I came up with this part through my research. Uh, NTE185 is the part number, and if you look on the back, you can see nteinc.com, that is the website. So you can feel free to go there if you wish and order one, but you might wanna stay till the end of the video just to make sure it actually works because believe it or not, at the time of this filming right now when I'm doing this, I don't even know if it's gonna work, but I don't know what else to do. So anyway, this is what I'm trying out. So anyway, let's begin. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is actually set it up on some contraption that will hold it steady. Uh, that, that's the thing you need to do unless you have like eight hands or eight arms or something like that, or maybe just a bunch of people you can fit in a room that can all hold it together. But this is the best I could do with this clamping system and it wasn't that good. Here you can see I'm sort of struggling to take out the transistor because the problem is there's three legs on it and I find when I heat one, I just, Anyway, I can't get it out. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting one of the legs and then I'm gonna give it a quick wiggle here and just break it off. Now, those of you that are in the know and do this all the time, please tell me what's the secret. But this is what I did and then I took off each uh, leg. I just heated them and then took them individually out. So there you can see there's the three legs that were still left in the board. I pulled them all out and there is the transistor. So. Anyway, you can see the board is a little bit burnt here and I don't think there is a way to actually fix it. I think this is just the way it has to be. Once again, if anyone has any advice on how to, you know, maybe repair that, please let me know. Uh, now what we have to do is we have to make sure there's three holes for the new transistor and you can see there's only two holes. So we need to get the solder out. I ordered one of these cheap solder sucking tools and it worked like a charm. Too bad uh, though those clamping things didn't work better because the board kept falling. So just piece of junk there, but anyway, now what we have to do is align the legs with the holes. So you can see here, two will fit, one obviously won't. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to bend the leg. Now here's where you gotta be careful. So take a, a good pair of needle nose pliers and sort of just bend it. And you can see how I did it here. And then I'll give you a close up shot here. You can see how the, the center one is forward from the two rear ones and make sure the holes are clear. You can see me waving behind the board there and you can see the light so the holes are actually clear. You gotta make sure that solder's out or there's just it, it's just not gonna work. So it takes a little bit of time but you know what, you almost need one of those solder sucking tools. It's the only way to get them clear because or else the solder, you just keep pushing it around. You're just gonna wreck the board and overheat it. So now what I'm doing is I'm just pushing it in. Now obviously I'm on the wrong side of the board. I get it, I know that. I just wanna make sure it fits and it was just easier to do it from that side. So now that I know it fits, you can see I'm pushing it through the board the proper way now and there you go now before you solder it close the board and make sure that it'll actually fit because the last thing you want to do is solder it and then it's too high up so just make sure that you, you know the depth within the board is okay now one tip that I always learned when I was soldering is you have to touch the legs of these things they have to get hot so there you go you can see uh, first one's done and I'll move on to the other two just to make sure that they are, uh, you know, soldered up good. So yeah, just a quick tip, make sure uh, your connection's good and make sure you use enough solder because you know what, if you don't use enough solder and it's really thin, obviously this transistor gets fairly hot and then you know what, it's just gonna fail uh, because of a bad connection. It might not burn up, but I mean, you're probably just gonna get a bad connection. So make sure you get enough solder on there. You can see here, I'm heating the leg there. There's the solder going on right there. And actually on this one, I think I need a little bit more. There we go, there's a nice glob of it. So that should be good. And now let's take a look at the board. You can see there, everything is, uh, you know, looks good, good enough for me, I guess. So I'm getting my wire cutters out here and we're just gonna snip it. Now, when you are cutting the ends here, make sure you use wire cutters that actually have a very low profile because some wire cutters don't and then they're just gonna stick out too much. So just make sure you get them sorta of so it's like flush like that, uh, you know, with the board. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it up and then put it back in its case, just like this and voila, it's going to look like brand new. But we're not done yet. We have to do the actual test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back VW, passenger side light, pull it out. Let's take out this one and put in the one that we just repaired and see how it goes. Okay, so far, so good. 
Let's see if the idle comes down. We're still a little high, we're over a thousand. And there you go, you can see our idle has come down a little bit, so that is great. Uh, we don't have any fluctuating idle and we're definitely not high. So job well done and the best part is it only cost me a few bucks and I got to save this old uh, computer module which is great because they're starting to get pretty rare. So now I got a spare one. Anyway, that is it for this week's video. Hope to see you next week. Thanks everyone.